Smith? Are you fucking with us right I, now? Yeah. That's I actually can't. happened. You went on stage because yeah. I, I knew about that, but I didn't know you went on stage. Yeah, yeah. And then every week, the next two weeks in a row, he physically assaulted me. Slap There he is. Uh, what's up, brother? Yo, man. Are we on? Yeah, we're on. Let's do it. Look at that beautiful <laughs> smile of yours. Is this live or is this you guys recording? No, 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 no we're, we're recording. recording. Oh, and can you swear? Is it Christian? <laughs> yeah, it's Christian in the sense that we talk about like jerking off a lot and a lot of repressed, weird depression shit. Yeah. Oh. That's... <laughs> All right, good. So I can I can say whatever I want, or literally, what, what's on your mind right now? What what were you about to say that you thought you maybe couldn't say on our podcast that you had to check? Well, um, first thing I want to say is um, the, uh, between the two of you, the who, guy who would, would you fuck with first? Act, cutest one. Wait, who is? No, the guy with the thick, the the, the 1950s mustache. Yeah, wow. bitch. Yeah, bitch. No, <laughs> my, no, that's just my preference, though. Like, you know. No. You, you don't, yeah, your I preference like, is being boy. right, Bobby. I get it, brother. Yeah. I mean, uh, the, thank you. I, I mean it still hurts to not be your preference, Bobby. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd rather be everybody's preference. <laughs> but, um, but in terms of, like, I think he's better natured than you. He looks like a baker. A like baker? Like, in the 1950s. Yeah, like in the 1950s, you would be a baker. Mm, and then I, you look like, what? No, 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 no. I'm sorry to interrupt. No, please continue. What are your names again? I, I forgot. I'm Kevin. John. John so and John, Kevin. So John's the baker that you want to fuck. John. Kevin's <laughs> the one. And what am I? And you are, if in the 1940s and 1950s, you would be like one of the guys that helped um, build the atomic bomb. <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> I'll fucking take that. See, I had him. I had Kevin pegged, and I think it's because Kevin looks very Irish. I yeah. had him pegged as kind of a a shady police chief who goes around as a little <laughs> too liberal with the Billy Bat, if you will. Okay, all right, I like it. <laughs> Either way, I, I think I, I just oh, saw Gangs in New York recently again, and like, Kevin Kevin looks like he'd fit in that cop okay. thing. Which I don't know when a year that was. No, he looks like a 1950s LAPD actually. <laughs> yeah, like little shade. In. Like, I'm going to patrol down in Compton, and we don't know what he's doing, but something very shady. I, I'm, we're getting a little too close to police brutality. And, and you look like a guy who would beat a minority in the streets. Like, I don't know. Kevin's eyes are so blue, he says the N-word. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Where, where, where are you guys located? We are in New York. We are in New York. Oh, you are? Yeah. Awesome, dude. We, uh, you, you're an L.A. guy, right? Yeah, but I, I go to New York like once a month now. Oh, really? Yeah. How is this our first time linking up? I with was you? gonna say this is kind of you're like the last uh, the last box to check, if you will. Like in the past few years, our our show has really started leaning into just having a lot of the, uh, the comedians as our guests. But also, and like we used to, Asa used to be a host on this show. Yeah. Asa, like Asa was a co-host with us for like probably. A I don't year, know how she years? didn't bring Bobby in. That was yeah. bullshit. Oh, we're, no, Asa, you guys know Asa? She, yeah, she, she was, was a co-host on the show. She was our third chair for like oh, a couple oh, years. That was the, oh, yeah, no, I remember now. She, uh, yeah, that, that, those are you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. that was us. Yeah. So we, we were the, I, I interviewed her uh, for a, uh, like a one-on-one -on -one podcast, and we had like incredible chemistry right away. And then we had a third member of our show leave, and we needed a new person. I was like, I mean, let's slide her in. She fit in perfectly <laughs> here. She, she, yeah. she, she, was, she was awesome for us. Yeah, she's amazing. I love her so much. Have you always uh, been a West Coast guy? Have you always been a West Coast guy? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. I'm black, dude. Uh, yeah. Whatever, dude. No, um, yeah, I was born in San Diego, and then I, um, I've been in L.A. for about almost 26, 27 years. Oh, yeah, um, so you're just soft as fuck now, Bobby. You're just fucking L.A. soft now. I'm very soft, my friend. Yeah, <laughs> like, nothing, nothing wrong with that. No, I wish I'm I was soft yeah, as hell. I I've, I've been soft. I wish I was soft. Yeah, I've probably been in I maybe mean, twenty fights in my lifetime, and I've none of my punches have landed. Bro, Wait, did you, you say that like it's a low fights? number? What? That's so many fights. That's did you say that like it's low? Oh, so many fights. Yeah, well, I've how, been in. You, well, how many fights have you guys have been in? Like, like two? Four? Yeah. What do you mean you've been oh. in twenty fights, Bobby Lee? Well, Bullied, so like you know, I've always been in situations where I like kind of stood up for myself, and then like, you know what I mean? I, you know, I swing like this. <laughs> it, and I've always been like knocked out. Or Shafir beat me up. Yeah, that's right. You guys had a thing, yeah, right? 
Yeah, I've had a lot of comics kind of punch me and stuff like that. What was that about? Give. I, I don't think we've ever to told that story on this show. I actually just found out about it recently. I was watching that. Um, what was that show like? I can't believe this should happen or whatever it was called. Oh yeah, yeah. What? 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 Why what, did you guys what? fight? Well, I'm a neo-Nazi, and um... <laughs> so he's a Jew. <laughs> and... There's a conflict. Um, no, um... Well, this, the story is pretty long, but I could I could kind of give you a vague um, yeah, description. Yeah. Um, you know, Ari and I used to be best friends back in the day, and then um, he used to date a woman by the name of Natasha Legero. Mm -hmm. Do you know who that is? Yes. Who is she? She was on our show as well a couple uh, a few months ago. She did an oh, animated you know. show. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fucking <laughs> asshole. You're trying to be like, you don't really know who she is. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, so um, Natasha, um, they used to live together. People don't know that, but they used to date. And um, I used to be on a show called Mad TV. And we had this Canadian guy on Mad TV. His name was Ron Peterson. And I brought him to the comedy store one day. And he saw Natasha performing in the belly room, which is one of the rooms at the comedy store. And he goes, oh, I want to I wanna fuck that girl. And I go, yeah, but she's living with my friend Ari, right? And I left him there because I had to do a show downstairs. Meanwhile, he gets her number and her information, right? And then weeks go by, and I run into him. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm like seeing that girl. And I go... There's no way because she's living with Ari. She, he goes, she left, right? And then what happened was Ari calls me crying. You know what I mean? You know how Jews cry. <laughs> <laughs> That's wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not good. But no, um, they're strong, good people. I love them. But um, and they rep me, so I love it. But uh, they, um, so um. Ari calls me crying and he goes, um, she loved me. And I go, and he goes, did you, he goes, did you introduce them? Mm. Is it your fault? I go, fuck no, dude. I told him. And then he goes, well, to prove that you didn't set them up, I need you to do me a favor. I go, whatever, buddy. Fucking kill him. He to break into Ron's office at, at Mad TV, at Fox Studios. And, <laughs> Steal his emails and then like four of them to me, and I go, Would you, all of them? He goes, no, just the ones between him and Natasha. And I go, I'm not breaking into the guy's office to do that. Yeah. Right? I mean, I, what am I, Ethan Hunt? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> right? That's that Bobby's fucking. Guy. He's just propelling down from the ceiling with. Yeah. The <laughs> all right, here's what I need you to do: commit corporate espionage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry; it'll only be like seven to ten if you get caught. It's fine; no big deal. Wow, what a dramatic little bitch Ari was, huh? Yeah. Fuck. So I go, I'm not doing that. Then he go, then he just did his mic. He was so emotional, and he liked her so much. And he just basically said, "It's your fault, then." That's and I, bullshit. And I, you're public enemy number one. So like a couple of days later, I was at the comedy store. And I was checking in because when you check in at a comedy club, you have to go to the the booth, right? The ticket booth. And you just go, I'm here. Because yeah. they do the lights and they do all that stuff. And then as soon as I did that, I just – I was on the ground. <laughs> did you sucker punch you? Like, yeah, I was what? on the ground. And he kicked me in the face like 30 times. <laughs> Shut up. Get out of town. Yeah, how, how bad was it? I was bleeding from my face, man. And I was like, I, and I went, I went up on stage that way. I like performed. I, I swear to God, I went up on stage and I go, I had, I was concussed or something. I go, that guy, that Jew beat me up. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, there was no jokes. I just kind of like made an announcement. Are you fucking with and us right I, now? Yeah. That's I actually every, happened. You went on stage because yeah. I, I knew about yeah. that, but I didn't know you went on stage. Yeah, yeah. And then every week, the next two weeks in a row, he physically assaulted me. Like, so the next what? week, he strangled me in the hallway, and then the third week, he I was in the parking lot, and he punched me from behind again. <laughs> I don't think I'm giving proper reactions to this story, because I can't tell if you're being serious, because I know Ari <laughs> lies all the time, and I can't tell if you're doing the same thing. Well, I mean, I, well, first of all, you, you said the show, right? The Comedy Central show? Yeah. Called This Is Not Happening? Right, right. Yeah, told that story... Like when they had the internet version of that show, you know, right. they, they yes. did yeah, yeah, online. Yeah. 
me, Steve Renazizzi, you know, Ari and um, Natasha went on stage to tell the story. Fucking nuts. And you guys right? are all cool now? And you know Steve Renazizzi, how honest he is. So, you know what I mean? <laughs> He's the guy who lied about being in 9 11. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's there. I'm Come on, man. <laughs> he was there in Pearl Harbor. And I, 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 <laughs> no, honestly, I was there and I was. You know, I saw the plane. <laughs> I was in the plane. <laughs> I was in the plane. <laughs> but, um, no, but yeah, so that happened. So um, yeah, I've been I've, I've been in a lot of fights. Yeah. Now wait, wait uh, yeah, were all you... stemmed from you being the fucking tough guy on the block who beats everyone up? Apparently, uh, wh- where are you? You're cool with Ari now? Oh yeah, he came over to my house. Yeah. maybe two weeks ago we did some yoga. Does anybody have a longer leash with people than Ari? He can beat you up, he can drug you, he can do fucking whatever, and he just <laughs> and the comedy com- community just keeps welcoming him back. It's crazy. Yeah, I know he shit on my car. You know that, right? I, no, no, I don't yeah, know yeah. that. I don't know <laughs> that, Bobby. I don't know that he's. I'll tell you what's what's making me nervous <laughs> is we had Ari in two times in like one month recently, and usually yeah. whenever we do these, like it's what it's like six months later or next year. And I said to Ari, like you were just here a minute ago, and like you came back, and, and I appreciate it because he's always a good guest. But I was like, why, why are you here? He's like, I just, I, I like your show. Like I just wanted to come on, and I was like, oh wow, cool. Now I'm like, I don't know you. You get too close to Ari, he's gonna shit on you or kill you or something. <laughs> no, no, he, no, no, no. He's a good guy. Right. Is he though? Is he? What a, what a, what a, what a cherry on top of this Sunday. He's fucking the best. He's an awesome <laughs> guy. I mean that that would take a lot for me to forgive. That's it. I mean everyone has character defects. Yeah. Everyone has what? Everyone has character defects. Yeah, he, he, just, he just has massive ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mine are I drink too much, Bobby. Not I shit on cars and assault people. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I don't, I don't, yeah, but he one time he saved up his poo, <sighs> and then um, he put poo. You know how your handle and your the and your car, so he put it in the handle. So I. Oh, that's diabolical. That's, it's diabolical. So when you open it, right, like my fingers went into poo. Oh. And I knew it was saying, like, I went, Ari. Ari, you motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> you motherfucker. And so I got in the car. I'm like, I got to get home to wash this stuff out. And so I see a little poo in the um, the front window there of my car. So I go, you know what? I'm going to put the fucking um, the, the windshield. windshield on. And he had put all the poo on that. Get the fuck out of here. That, that is truly diabolical. He's like, I'm going to put a little a little spot <laughs> so you use your, your windshield yeah. wipers, but it's covered in shit. Wow. That what is. a sick fuck. <laughs> The wiper on it went all over like it was just like a brown smudge oh my god but then i remember going to 7-eleven and um you, you guys don't have, do you have 7-elevens out there yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and I, I went and found a, ho- a homeless guy and i go hey how much do i need to give you to sh- clean shit off my car because i went and bought windex and you know what i mean and paper towels and he looks at me and he goes a hundred dollars <laughs> even that guy has yeah. fucking high L- L- la homeless are living good like a nickel would have been happy with it, but this guy saw the car and he was just like, "This yeah. is so much. Like, I, I need a hundred Yeah, I was gonna say, how much is Ari? Sh- how much did he save up? Jesus fucking Christ, man! He had two comics also poo in the bag, which I don't even know how. He's got mercenary <laughs> yeah. shitters. Like, what? I got to be honest. What, a, if what Ari- a legacy it is to leave, where like you touch your car handle, and you get shit on your hands. Yeah, and you immediately go. Fucking Ari. Yeah. Like, that's, like, that's your You're reputation. in a city of millions of people. It could have been any homeless guy. Could have been a homeless guy that you offered 20 bucks earlier. Yeah. You lowballed him. He's <laughs> pissed about it. He's like, I'm going to shit on that guy's car. And you just yeah. knew. You knew from the fucking feel of the shit. <sighs> fucking Ari. That's Ari's yeah. got me again. That's Ari's God part. damn. What, what is Barstool Sports? What? What's Barstool Sports? It's the company we work for. It is. It's like a fucking. I don't know. We do fucking. It, it started out as a uh, newspaper in Boston, just kind of like the free giveaway on the subway, and then uh, and then it then he uh, the founder Dave Portnoy put it on on the internet just as a blog, and then he expanded into different cities. So like I was the first uh, expansion into New York. So we used to just be a blog. We just wrote blog posts, and then that spiraled into podcasts and video, and now it's just like a media company all over the place. A uh, media. Yeah, and you guys 
Is, but is it like do you guys talk about sports on the on the on the a, show? A lot of the guys do. We we don't. I mean, we're sports fans, but we talk about just random shit. A lot of the shows here are, are focused on gambling and picks and fantasy and all the sports shit. Yeah, yeah we've kind of become. Uh... Persona non grata of this company. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, we yeah. our our time here is numbered for it, sure. It's basically like the company's <laughs> all going this direction, and we're going this way. They're turning into like a billion dollar gambling empire, and we're over here taking like calls about your your dick. You know? like, let's talk about Ari Shafir's shit. That'll put asses in the seats. Unbelievable, uh, man. Yeah, yeah, Bobby, what did you think of the Dodgers game last night? Give us your take on it. <laughs> Because when I read the email, I was like, I don't know anything about sports. No, nah, we. Do. I neither do we. <laughs> That's why we're not gonna have a job here we soon. <laughs> no, we do. I mean, like, I, I, I have my teams that I root for, so I know about them. But a lot of the guys here are gambling and picking, making picks, so they know like they're watching every fucking game, every sport, because they got money on the line, and they're, you know, I just know my. I get weird about my my. Three or four teams. That's it. I think even people. I think people in cities, in major cities that have sports teams, like to pretend they're a fan of all four sports teams. People like two teams. Yeah, you have one or two that you. Yeah, really, like that you really follow, and yeah. then you like all. You know, I'm rooting for all of them, but yeah. like teams I follow and can tell you all about. Right. Two of them. Yeah. I. You're. Are you not a sports fan at all? Well, no. I mean, the only sports that I like is sports that Americans generally don't like. I, I mean, I'm a huge fan of the EPL. I mean, the you know, Premier League. Who's your team? I'm a. Ar- Man, Arsenal. Oh, so, I mean. Oh, so you know troops? You know who troops is? Yeah, yeah. Uh, troops, troops, troops works here. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. Wait, wait. He, he lives in England, though, right? Yeah. No, well, he, he's a, he's back and forth between both, but we'll hire anybody anywhere if they are. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Tro- wait. So you physically know troops? Yeah. <laughs> he's unbelievable. He, he calls me bargain bucket. My my no. my initials are KFC. And so that was kind of my internet moniker, and I was arguing with him about the Super League, and I was arguing against him, and so he calls me Bargain Bucket, and the crowd goes wild <laughs> for it. When he says it with his voice, too, even I'm laughing at myself. That's insane man. because like someone like Troops, because I watch uh, Arsenal fan t- t- in TV, I mean on the inter- internet, mm-hmm. and it's like him, he, he's like a mythological creature to me. It's like, so just the thought that you guys know him is just like so exciting. Like, even if you said, I know Sean Connery, I wouldn't, I wouldn't care, but someone like, <laughs> Groups is like, wow, that's such a weird person to know. Um, he's nice. He's awesome. He's the best. He yeah. is, and he is one of the most like naturally funny. Once you learn how to speak troops, because like that accent and and his slang is like, I, I pick up every like third word. But once we yeah. got going, I mean, he is so fucking funny. And his passion, man, you think you 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 might think you're a, a sports fan, and you see someone like him. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean he's an Arsenal fa- fan through and through, right? Uh, yeah. I mean it's the most you know he he'll tell you that his kids are more important, but I don't think they are. <laughs> I think Arsenal is the most important thing in the world to him. He's he's yeah. a fucking nut. Man. No, I mean I love Arsenal so much. It's like I would like um, I mean I would probably do gay things with them. <laughs> no, no, I'm being real. I'm like you know, I mean, there's certain players that I would I like I in my head I'm like oh yeah you like if who, I who's, who's the Jones, number one Arsenal player. Or EPL player, you would blow. <laughs> Give us a top 13. Wait, 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 wait. Somebody that's on the team now or somebody that was once on the team? Whoever you really, really yeah, want to blow. Either or. What? I mean, I would probably Thierry Henry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah, I mean, he's a legend. Mm-hmm. And one time I was I was shooting. I was, so I was in New York. I was shooting a movie there. Uh, I was in the movie. I had a couple of scenes in The Dictator. And I was at the hotel, and this is when Henri was playing for the um, the Red Bulls, right? Mm-hmm. And I was in the elevator. I was in the elevator, and, and I'm a diehard Arsenal fan. He walks into the elevator, right? And I start trembling, right? I start trembling. And I wanted to get things out, like, can I get a photo? Or, you know, can I suck your dick? Or whatever. <laughs> whichever. <laughs> yeah. You know, but what do those do? And, um, he just leaves the fucking hotel. Like he leaves the the elevator, the door closes. I literally look down on my penis. I'm not hard, but there's a little smudge at the tip of it. No, <laughs> you had some pre cum for it, Thierry Henry. No, it could have been pee. <laughs> yeah, it could have been pee. wet, right? But it also could have been cum. <laughs> I, I didn't go down and smell it. You know what I mean? Oh I my god, you got a little smudge. 
That's yeah. a tip smudge for a guy. I love how you're like, I don't, I'm not, a, I don't like no sports. Like you just said you pre-came for fucking just looking at a, an athlete. <laughs> you looked at a soccer player and you either pissed shit or, or you pissed or came yourself. It's, I mean, I, I yeah. pee myself all the time. So I, I, I would know my pee drips are a little, <laughs> little lower than my cum drips, but, <laughs> but I'm a guy, I'm always pissing myself. It's, it's oh, a, wait, are you? Are you a dripper? Oh, not I'm not. It's not even a dripper, Bobby. I'm. Oh. I am. A, I'm just lazy. He, he doesn't. I don't, I'm he not, doesn't I'm a, stop. He puts his dick back in his pants before he's done peeing. I'm it's a crazy. non-shaker. He I'm like, oh yeah. Be, oh, bro, 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 bro. You and I are the same. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why because the the head of my penis is beginning to smell bad. Oh, it's what. <laughs> Well, I just I have to say it again. Yeah, I didn't really hear you. I think you bad. said it's beginning the to head, smell bad. The head of my penis is beginning to smell bad. Are you? I want to be clear. I want to be clear for a second. You and I are not the same. <laughs> <laughs> you got a stinky pe penis. I don't. Are you cut or uncut? You, no, that's the deal. That's the deal. I'm going to tell you guys something, okay? So I think that um, I'm I'm cut, okay? Oh, weird. But I, but I think that. All the years of like, I when I jerk off, it's rageful. Mm. You know what I mean? I just do it like in a, in, yeah, yeah, like in a rage. Yes, yeah, squeezing it too tight. And I think over the years, I've stretched the skin, <laughs> so it's ask, just hear me out. You recircumcise yourself, right? And now it's like I'm um, uncut. Yeah. So you, like you giving now, yourself a hood. Yeah. Now the skin, oh. because the the skin's so elastic. It's it goes over the head, right? And and because I drip, I don't I, I don't drip in the toilet. I let things leak. Now there's a like there's a it. fucking enclosed right, and the pee goes inside the little enclosure, right? And it it, it and, and it it kind of ferments it. I don't know what the it oh. it, it pickles it. it, pickles <laughs> it, 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 it what a great word for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. It pickles, pickle, it pickles it. Yeah. Oh my god. So. so my penis head is pee pickled. If Bobby Lee's penis pickled pee, how many peeny, peeny pickles could Bobby Lee penis pickle? Holy shit! I love how you like what? What? You didn't want your girl to hear you talking about that? No, I get when I get enthusiastic, I gotta get close. Okay, yeah. all right. Good. I was gonna say because I, I know I know you you know you're on the show with Kalila and you guys are like you do content together and everything. I was like I was about to say I don't think there's anything that you would not say in front of her, is there? Oh no! That she's, she knows everything. About. She's heard it all. No, like, like you guys. Are you guys married? I'm divorced. No, I am not married. I, I can tell. <laughs> I spent too much time in the bakery, Bobby. I have time for a woman in my life. <laughs> <laughs> no, a lot of like it's like, hey, I have an itch in my butthole. What is it? And I'll just you know spread over my cheek. Yeah, you, know, you guys are like. I honestly have said this before about you two. Is like, you're you. I I'm not usually one of like the. Like I don't want to poop in front of my girlfriend. I don't want to like leave the door open, sort of thing. I don't. I that's not my style. But also, I've seen just how open you guys are with each other, and it's like, yeah, that might be the fucking key to it because you seem like the happy couple. No, I don't. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I mean, I mean, I don't think. I mean, I think there needs to still be some mystery there. Yeah. Right, and I think like you know, I mean, her and I shit in front of each other. We just rip farts. You know what I mean? Like at in the morning. And I think when you constantly do that over years, you know what I mean? I think it does affect the relationship in a weird way. I mean, we're still intimate and we're st we still do those things, but it's like, I wish we didn't do it. You know what I mean? It just makes sense. <laughs> Right? It's hard. It's hard to put that toothpaste back in the yeah, tube. Once like, you've seen man, that, can you stop farting in front of it? <laughs> That's yeah, the matrix it, shit. Yeah. It's like we're the type of people. that's like, hey, look at my poo. You know what I yeah. mean? Uh, like, doesn't that look like Humphrey Bogart or whatever? <laughs> oh, my God. But Jesus it's like, Christ. I don't think that I would, if I had to do it over again, I mean, we're still together. But if you had to do it over again, I'd probably, <laughs> I'd probably not do that as much. But, yeah. I'm, like, let's keep together. the asshole itching to ourselves. How about that? Yeah. 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 Don't you guys think, though? So? Yeah, no, yeah. I'm, that's what I'm saying. I've always. But I'm too, I'm too repressed. I'm the yeah. like, I, I don't share I, enough. I could use a little bit more. Of you, uh, you know, meet me halfway. Yeah, I think, I think if, if the three of us became one person. Oh boy, that's I think, a first of all, we'd be pretty story. goddamn. No, you're not into it. No, perfect. Oh, perfect. All right, oh, I thought you were like, but you're like, fuck no, no man, you, you psychos, no. Well, what so. what do we want to take from each of us to make our Frankenstein here? Oh, that's very good. I'll all take right, Bobby's so. hair for sure. Bobby's hair, 
John's mustache. Oh. Well, we're definitely not. Go, no offense, we're not doing your dick. Not Bobby's let's talk dick. Let's about our personality oh, okay. and who we are first. Well, I mean, that's uh, just, uh, well boy, then yikes. we got slim pickings over here, uh, Bobby. Throw, throw yours in, so you go first. Oh, man. This, um, can you pick for me? Nope. No, no, no. You got to pick. <laughs> No, you I know who you are. No, I don't. <laughs> no, Bobby. I like this is see now. Now we now we've become a very different show, where I don't know one redeeming attribute I have that I could throw I into the potluck here. Hard on, yeah. Yeah, this is tough. Like, um, uh, I, I'm not like I'm not nice. Well, I'm kind. I'm, I'm I'm kind, but I don't like. I'm not I don't, friendly. I'm not. I don't know things. That, like, I'm not gonna remember your birthday. Like, you're yeah. gonna. I'm the friend who like. <laughs> I don't know, I'll talk to you once a year and you'll have a fun time, but like, I'm, I'm not going to call you and see how you're doing and shit like that. I, I will privately wonder, like, huh, I wonder how they are, but I won't take that extra step to make them reach out. So that's a bad person. Okay. All right, how about this? We'll do the opposite. We'll create a monster. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. so let's talk about our, 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 de our defects. Uh, um, Is that easier? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my, it's, it's right, well, I'll start. Off, John. Yeah, it's, I'll start. I'll start. Okay. okay. Right. I'll start. Um, I'm a liar. Ooh. Oh, well, like, are you like, a liar so now? Okay, pathological, so like you lie, like in a, like I'll lie about just little silly things sometimes, just for the sake of lying. But will you lie about something to like tear it down, like burn it down? Lies. Yeah, I'll go from top to bottom, like you know. Hey, did you see that movie? I'll be like, I love it. I never saw it, right? <laughs> <laughs> like that. Yeah, like, I'll do no. shit like Natasha Leggero. I know who that is. <laughs> 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 I was like, like, yeah, of course I know her. Like, <laughs> I fucking know her. Yeah. Or like if I ran over somebody like, you know, in the car and I drove away, lie about that as well. Yeah, well, see, here's I, I I appreciate you using a word here and it's an L word and it's liar because that word isn't used enough anymore, Bobby. We've reached this fucking threshold in humanity where yeah. women in particular have learned two particular words. And they accuse all men of being them. And we get too much credit now for being masterminds. We're all manipulators and gaslight. Gaslight. Like, no, I uh, just told you a basic lie. I just lied. That's it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a yeah. fucking criminal mastermind. No. I'm not yeah. a fucking cartoon villain. Yeah. I just yeah. lied to I, you. I haven't, it's not like something I've been planning for months to slowly <laughs> yeah. lie. It's just like I just made up one thing because I didn't want to hear it from you. He's a fucking yeah. gaslighter. No, I didn't fucking dim the oil lights for months on end <laughs> and pretend that I, that I saw perfectly. I told you I was at home when I was at the bar. Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah. Yeah, women that were like Moriarty or something. Yes, yeah. right. Yeah, like we're like in the shadows, and we have like or, minions. You know what else they say? They, they say uh, nar narcissistic is a big one too. Where it's like, well, we're talking about like how I feel. So yeah, yeah. it's gonna come across like I'm talking about myself. What the fuck? I'm a liar. Yeah. There's no. only two people in this relationship. We're yeah. gonna talk about you. We're gonna talk about me. It's so funny you say that because um, two years ago I had I went to. Uh, uh, a place in Arizona where they had like hundred of the best like psychiatrists and therapists when it comes to like trauma therapy and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And I was there for a month. So I, I was evaluated 12 hours a day by all these professionals. And I went there because I wanted to know if I was a narcissist, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, after I was done, they do like a review, you're in a room with like 30 psychologists and therapists and stuff. And they determined that there's, I'm the opposite of a um, narcissist. narcissist right? Really? But my girl still calls me a narcissist. <laughs> it's like I, I, am clinic, like, I have been clinically declared the opposite yes! of that by a, a panel of doctors. Which, but you still which, call me a narcissist. by the way, if we're being honest here amongst friends, monster friends that we are, <laughs> having 30 people evaluate you to decide if you're a narcissist sounds like the most narcissistic <laughs> thing in the whole world. <laughs> Hey, you 30, you panel of people, as you describe it, <laughs> study me and find out if I'm a narcissist or not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what, 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 um, so wait, what do we pick for? So you're a liar. All right. So we, we can all go in a circle because yeah. we have a bunch. So the first one I want to say is liar. Okay. So you guys. Uh, I am, uh, I am a viciously like grass is always greener. Uh, type like uh, that mentality is always in my head. Like, would, like I'm not good enough. I I want what they have is bigger, better. The, the, oh, yeah, that yeah. show is better than mine. That guy is better oh, than yeah. me. That relationship is better than mine. All that shit. So I'm always like yeah, wanting yeah. something else rather than just like being happy with what I have. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
boy. Uh, suicidal ideations is one. And then, uh, I, but I'm also violent, but it's to myself. Like, I don't cut myself, but I hit myself all the time. Like, oh, in my, yeah. like, I'll, like, hit my fucking legs or I'll headbutt walls a lot. That's, those are... A those, lot? <laughs> a good amount. Yeah. I've, I, I headbutt... You're doing this at home? At uh, home yeah. and in cabs, mostly. Okay, cabs. <laughs> Watch out if you were an Uber driver in New York picking up a, a, a red hair mustache. I'm never going to hit someone else unless they really deserve it, but I, I'm violent <laughs> to, to inanimate objects and people named John Henry Feidelberg. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, we got ourselves a monster already. Yeah. We got ourselves a, a, like a like a, a lying, unsatisfied, violent little monster, man. <laughs> oh, okay, I spend days like I I spend at least six hours a day fantasies fantasizing about revenge fantasies. Mm. Right? Like I'll like late at night when I'm going to sleep, I just I I'm like I think about how I can get revenge on a bunch of people, and I go like to, in detail about it, right? But I feel like, you know, when you spend that much time doing revenge fantasies, eventually, or I, in a different time period in life, maybe I would have, like, actually done those things. Uh -huh. You know mm. what I mean? I'm a very jealous person, basically, is what I'm saying. Yeah. See, now that's reminding me of another, it's the exact opposite attribute, so these two are going to mix like oil and water. But mine is apathy, where I wish I fucking cared to to get revenge on someone. <laughs> but you he could you could run what? my leg over with a tractor, and I'd apologize. I'd be mm -hmm. like, I'm sorry, that shouldn't have been there. <laughs> yeah. Like it's cool. Don't worry yeah. about it. We're good. Yeah, you guys like, are two opposites. In that, yeah. In that regard. <laughs> John has never come up with a revenge plot in his life, and he should have like dozens of them. <laughs> what's been John, your what what's, kind of what's, what's, you? wait real quick? What's your most uh, what's your best revenge fantasy? Your most satisfying one. Well, okay, and I, why I mean, are you I, doing I, it to Ari Shafir? Is it because of the shit or because? <laughs> no, it's not Ari. No. Okay, so one time I was on a show a couple of years ago. I was on a sitcom, and um, it, it was called Splitting Up Together with Jenna Fisher. And it, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I was Honestly, I was getting divorced when that show first came out. Don't they choose to stay in the house together, right? Yeah. And I remember thinking, I'm like, is this an actual idea? Because I had kids and shit. I was like, can we just like stay in this house, but I get to live my own life? And then I was like, no, there's a reason why this is a TV show. This shit's not real. Okay, yeah. I'm probably the only person in the world who knows that that show, but go on. Yeah. So I was like, you know, you know, the neighborhood gook. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I come here with, hi, I'm gook number one, and you know, whatever. You know what I mean? And, um, but the only reason why I was happy for to get the show and the only reason why I wanted a show, because on, you know, here in L.A., there's a street called Barham, right, where every actor, right, has to just drive by. And on the side of Barham is Warner Brothers. And on Warner Brothers, they have these big billboards on the side of the building of sitcoms that are about to come out, right? Mm -hmm. And the whole point of getting on the show was so that I can get on the billboard. Mm -hmm. Not, you know what I mean, not to brag. Just to, so that other actors and comedians could feel jealous mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that I was on a show. Oh, and then yeah. when they didn't put me on the billboard, I went on a fucking month depression. And I remember, <laughs> I go, don't put me on any billboard except for the billboard that's on bill. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I don't care about any of them. You know what I mean? Nothing. This is not to you. thing about revenge. <laughs> oh, man. And you couldn't be like, like oh, you put the Asian guy on. Come yeah, on. You I need got, the Asian uh, guy on the billboard. Put yeah. him on there. Yeah. I yeah. achieved success for one fucking reason. They got, I'll give you a, I'll work for free. Just get me on that goddamn billboard. Yeah. <laughs> I love spite success. Spite success well, is the best success. Yeah, but yeah, that, 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 the spite to me, like I'm too driven by spite. I don't know what the word is for that, but that, that, like I got too much hate in my heart and spite in my heart. The only reason I am on this show, the Sound only reason I have is because one time, Bobby Lee, in 2011, an internet commenter told me that I'd made a bad career choice and I'll never have a 401k. <laughs> Guess who has a 401k you now? You do! They don't match it, but wow. I got one! <laughs> yeah. It's basically just a bank account. You're putting yeah. money away and then you're not allowed to touch. Yeah, yeah. It's just letting someone else hold money for me. Then they're going to fucking charge me a huge fee if I fucking need it before I turn dead. <laughs> That that I think I think spite and hate's a good motivator, but then whatever it's called when that's too much of the reason why you do it, that's what I am for sure. Spite yeah, monster yeah. over here. Yeah, but we I mean I have positive things too. I think we went on the negative because Must you be don't nice. have any. Yeah, yeah. We know, we're pathetic bags of trash. You. No, but we all have 
Give me one positive about you. Well, I, so that's why I'm saying like, you, you, physically, I have a nice smile. You give one about me, and I'll give one about you. We can do that to each other. We can't say it about ourselves. I don't even know if I have. Like, I don't know if I want to know what you think. You, you are. Yeah, I want. Okay, well, Kevin is there for you. Kevin is. If anyone ever needs Kevin, like, well, yeah. Kevin is the opposite of what I said. I am. Well, I'm like, I'll think about you, but I won't reach out. Kevin is always. Kevin is a great leader and a great um, communicator. And a very nice person who will like talk to you and help you through tough times, and yeah, and, and not to just turn this oh, into a oh. dick sucking fest, but you you do that for me too. You're always you're, you reach out more than I do. About I anything. do it for one single person. That's, yeah, that's all true, I got. That's true. You do I will I, for you. I will help you. <laughs> you, you Anyone have... else? Fucking die in a fire. I don't give a <laughs> shit. <laughs> John has the uncanny ability to. I mean, it, as much as he's saying he's still he's doing the show because of an internet commenter. The uncanny ability to like tune every fucking person out that doesn't matter. Where so many people in the world like care what all other people think. John doesn't give a shit. This is what I use as my toxic trait. He's describing apathy. <laughs> I don't fucking care about you. <laughs> but you know, like I hate when people. You know, there's so much. It's like, yeah, listen, the internet's a tough place, and there's bad commenters and bad trolls and all that shit. But so many people cry about it, and when we should just like fucking beat it, you know, overcome it. And John does that. What's good about yeah. you? What do you like about yourself, Bobby? I, I, yeah, because I, I get really affected by negative comments and stuff. Like, Beetle. how do you do that? I, I, Don't look at them. I, that, I, yeah, I he, do. He I, I really. We just talked about this. We just had uh, uh, Rachel Feinstein and uh, Jessica Kirsten in here, and we were just talking about this. And uh, yeah, you just don't look at him. When, when when most people say like I I don't read the comments, I'm like yeah you fucking do you liar you know he like he he has enough self control to just not check that out. Yeah, yeah, I'm the same. It's up. like I mean, being I a just... drug addict or an alcoholic when like you know that doing that is going to be bad for you and like yeah, but most you... of the addicts can't stop touching. You. Yeah, 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 right. You, you right. can stop. You got that <laughs> yeah. self control. Yeah, well, I deleted my Twitter app on my phone, and then what I, what I ended up doing is. I would just go on my, you know what I mean, on my Safari and just Google Log Twitter. Log in that way. Yep. Yep. Okay. yep. That way. That, I never like, understood. People say that. Like, they, like I, I got a friend who deletes Twitter and all social media Monday through Friday. And I'm like, well, I, that actually helped because I would just go to the website. It, yeah. like, and it's maybe back in the day when you didn't have Face ID and you had to type it in yourself, then it would be a deterrent. Now, I don't have to hit anything. Yeah. I just go on and it's yeah. like, here, your password's all in. How about the people who uh, change the color on their screen? Have you, have you heard of that? You can go. You, you can go on your display and make your whole shit uh, black and white instead of like the nice blue color and the nice this color and that color. Because Apple has like uh, designed their phones to give you like the serotonin. Oh, huh, I didn't know about so this. So apparently, if you put your phone in full grayscale, you're supposed to like it's not as appealing. I was just on Twitter in black and white, being like, "Mother fuck you." <laughs> like, I was. I want. I want to look at my Twitter now. I was going to say, that makes sense. I can see that being... Uh, but apparently, I see the logic in it. See, you do dark mode. I do light mode. I'm still a light mode myself. Yeah, dark I, I, mode. I go with the white. Everyone's... That's Twitter. For Why? Me. I don't... I, that's just how it, it starts. Like, I don't make the change. It's just how it opens up. Uh, right. I'm going to say, I'm not going to go... I don't I don't know how to change. I'm sure it's very easy to figure out. If Twitter but, started yeah. in dark mode, I would just I would just leave it in dark mode. Right. I just leave things as they are. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah, I don't fix things. I don't, I don't make things better for me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. well, this has been a, this has been a real will. fucking therapy <laughs> session here. Holy moly, man! I, but I feel like you've been in the game so long with acting and and comedy and everything that I mean, how old are you? You you're you're like an ageless, timeless wonder. What? Huh? I'll do it. Yeah. 86. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I feel like you've, you've probably had, like, the most experience out of, like, so, uh, a huge chunk of, of you know, that. No, I, I just turned 50 um, a couple of weeks ago. And um, how old are you guys? I'm 36. Yeah. 33. Yeah, fuck yeah, this guy, right? Yeah, what little, a baby, little bitch. <laughs> yeah, but that's crazy, yeah. man. I mean, that that's like you've got a lot under your belt. I feel like that's a lot of experience and a lot of like shit that you got highs and lows. You know, the whole nine. Yeah, I mean, you know, for me, it's like you know, I um, you know, I've had so many dark times in this business and stuff like that. Like I, you know, I got you know, when I was thirty, I got Mad TV. I stayed on it for like maybe seven or eight years. 
And then after that, it was kind of rough for the next 10 years after that, really. You know? Really? And, uh, You're probably thinking, like, you've made it at that point, too, right? You go- No, I couldn't get anything going. And then you would just see other guys rise. And, and um, you kind of would call your agents and go, should I quit? Should I get out of it? You know what I mean? Shit. I'm not happy. You, you know, you get, like, suicidal. And then it's like, um, and then one day I just kind of woke up and said, you know, if you ma- I'm not going to make this the number one thing, you know, if, the, if I'm going to make this the number one thing, I'm going to kill myself. So it's like, I started focusing on, you know, that's when I met Kalila, you know, you meet, mm-hmm. a, you know, your partner and you go on vacations and you just do normal things. And, uh, you know, I've been in and out of AA, you know, Alcoholics Anonymous. I would go to, you know, some years I would be very into it and do a lot of service work. So you just kind of end up, doing other things and then what inevitably what happens is you know it becomes um you just you know i started the podcast and that kind of reinvented my career right? yeah um right you know i it kind of got me back into hollywood now i'm really busy and stuff but it's like um you can't let it be your life well then you I hit a, a new rock bottom when you decide to work with cheeto santino and it's just like well there's a fucking bad idea that fucking Fun. that Fun. goddamn ginger rat yeah. Yeah. um a week white person you know <laughs> no he really weeks in fact you know you know if you watch any like movie like if you watch like um saving private ryan right you ever see saving private oh, ryan yeah. yeah you know the opening scene normandy they're all going in tom hank this and that right and in the distance you see a guy a, like a soldier just on fire <laughs> that's andrew that's Santino. Like, <laughs> like, you know in world war ii he wouldn't have even made it onto the beach he would have been Guy on the boat getting shot on the head. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, everything about that guy is just like, you know, like, uh, he's so average and dull. <laughs> yeah. And like, you know, yeah. Just the most no, medium the man ever. Just as middle That's of the road guy. as possible. He's one of my best friends. He's one of my best friends. Mm. Was, that, was that a, um, like a odd couple pairing? Or are you guys like, like, was that a, um, a natural thing to be like, let's let's do a podcast together. Me and you are well, going to be a good I'll, fit. I'll be completely honest with you. So, so I okay. like to get in. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'll join you. I'm yeah, you. No, <laughs> yeah. All right. So, no, you get lean back. It's freaking me out. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so, what happened was. So when I started my podcast, um, Tiger Belly, the one that I have with my girlfriend, I started with, you know, an engineer and a producer. And back then we made no money. Like there was like it was six years, seven years ago, and I didn't know how to make money on it. So I just said, if we ever made money, we'll split it four ways. <laughs> you know? So what ended up happening is like we started making money and then like other people people found out about it that I split it four ways and the number one guy that found out about it was Joe Rogan he found out that I was splitting it four ways and he slammed me against the wall at a comedy club and he put his buff finger on my face he goes, what are you a fucking idiot you know what I mean they're only listening because of you you piece of, you know what I mean and I, I was like make, you know I was sharing it with my girlfriend and these two other guys because they started with me so I was like how do I make you know what I mean money so I just mm-hmm went to Andrew and Andrew came to me and we go, let's just start one. You know what I mean? So that's the only reason why I started so, a second. Just because you needed to start fresh with a better business deal? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> yep. 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 Been there. Yeah. Still there. <laughs> Other guys were like, you know, it kind of like is their way of making, paying rent and buying mm-hmm. their car, you know, surviving. And I didn't want to change it. You know what I mean? And so I just kind of, started another business really you know i mean so keep tiger belly the same and i go 50 50 with andrew i mean business you know? is booming though i mean that show is that is very fucking funny it's one of the best pods out there Thank so well done and so and now, should we talk about yeah let's talk about let's talk about, let's talk about the other opportunities here uh so you're you're getting into that that i mean that the animated game want, what just segue segue into it in a natural way so let's let's pretend we're talking about something else you know what I mean? well mm-hmm. let's just and segue into it like in a natural way so right. let's talk about andrew a little bit more so um 
yeah, he's a really good comic, and for a redhead, he's very handsome, and yeah. um, he's really blessed. He almost looks like a cartoon character, though. He looks ridiculous. It's like an animated character, which you <laughs> are now involved in a new Netflix series called Inside Job. What a fucking segue. That was fucking amazing. Brilliant. <laughs> Did you take improv classes? <laughs> <laughs> You're a net. So, um, so guys, so I mean, I have to look up like the details of this thing. Hold on, just give me a second. <laughs> I mean, I want to, I want to do it right, okay? So, so uh, um, comes out on October twenty second. Yeah, all right, all right, hold on. <laughs> okay, uh, here we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a second. Just, uh, all right, where the fuck? <laughs> Netflix okay, so is loving this. No, no, they love We're going to post <laughs> just a clip of this, and that's going to be the promo. <laughs> Hang on, what the <laughs> shit? Fuck. God damn right, it. So, um, so, um, you know, because things are, so, you know, I, I'm reoccurring on like Mandan PI, I reoccur on a new show called Sex in the City, I guess, comes out in December. You're on that? Oh, heard of it. Bobby, I'm starting a little show where I've never seen Sex in the City. So I'm going to watch it and give my reviews of the episodes. Love to have you on whenever you want to come on. Speaking oh, oh, I would love to. Okay, and speaking of that, yeah, Troops, was... Troops said he'd love you on a live stream whenever you want. That would wait. be awesome. Wait, wait, when did Troops say? We got a text because we are, like producers are watching the show. So Troops producer is watching it, and he said, Troops said, come on whenever you want. Okay, first of all, I probably won't do it because I'm so starstruck by him. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, would... if, if you pissed your pants just seeing Thierry Henry, I don't know what right. would happen if you're hanging out with troops for a whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so, you know, things are good. And I, you know, a couple of years ago, this woman by the name of Shion, she's the showrunner of um, Inside Job. She goes, she goes, I just want you on the show. And I, and I saw, you know, the first thing I did is I saw the cast and I saw, you know, Lizzie and Brett and all these Andy Daly and all these people that are on it. And I just went, I don't even have to read it. I just, I like the group of people that are in it. Sometimes you do that, right? Like you go, yeah. you know, I, I like the group and it's like, sometimes when I read it. a script, I can't it anyway, you know, mm -hmm. I don't really don't know what the tone is or whatever. So I just kind of go, yeah, I like the group. I'll do it. So I've been doing it. And um, I, it's one of those things where I never thought it would ever come out. Because you know what? Because you know when you're doing a, a show like this, it's like, yeah, um, next Tuesday you'll be in for like you know two hours. You do a bunch of lines. You don't see the animation really. Right. You're just in the booth, and you do that for years, and you go, you just don't know what it's going to look like or the context of it. You know, I mean, you know the scenes, and now you know I've seen it, and um, you know, I, and I just think that it looks great, and it's about. Um, sort of the government like we're like kind of a hidden government you know what i mean that really actually runs things and it's like you guys just do 9-11 uh, and stuff like it's like a shadow government <laughs> <laughs> you, you commit 9-11 you, you... <laughs> what <laughs> what's up who, who do we think what do what I do think, think of it? Love it. It was the best. I no, did you say, what do you think of <laughs> well, If I had to pick a day in history that I love the most, it's September 11th. It's the best. I, I, was, I actually met a person on September, September 12th this year, and I, I was like, I was like, yeah, I was down by Wall Street yesterday. There's so much hullabaloo. <laughs> and she was like, did you just, just hullabaloo 9-11? But <laughs> 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 it's... But it's such a silly word to describe such a horrible event, but it was a whole. Hullabaloo it was a lot happened. of hullabaloo. Down it, there. Was. it was. It was. There's a whole hullabaloo. There's a, all. Every living president was there. It's a hullabaloo. Yeah, it was, it was a thing. A, it was terrible. Where, where do you go? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm here. He went to commit another one. <laughs> so, I ask you that because there's a lot of people that have conspiracy theories. I don't know much about it, but I just you know I just think that 9/11 was a terrible day. But anyway, um, let's go back to the show. Wait, I do um, too. I'm not. You're not the only one who thought it was bad. I also yeah, agree. Said, you, you got nothing yeah, to say uh, on that one? No. Good. <laughs> okay. I've said my piece. <laughs> so it comes out um, October 22nd. It's on Netflix. And it's like, um, you know, I play um, a guy named Dr. Andre. I'm a, you know, an Asian. Asian doctor. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> I'm, a, no, I'm a scientist. You know what I mean? That's a part of the shadow government. And um, it's really just kind of zany and, and, and weird. But what I loved about it too is, a lot of the jokes kind of landed with me. You know, sometimes you do shit. It's like when you do it like a network thing, it's like you, 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 you go to the producers and you go, I don't know where it's supposed to be funny because it's like you're not type, you're not, it's not your type of humor. Uh -huh. Right, right. I 
you like with you two guys, right? And I want you guys to listen, okay? The first two minutes that I was on with you guys, I, I in my head, I'm like, are, you guys seem like really good New York comics, right? I, I have the respect for you, like I have the respect for Norton or, you know what I mean, Geraldo or these types of guys, you know what I mean? And I can tell that we share the same sense of humor, okay? Mm -hmm. That's the same feeling I have with Inside Job, wow. this new show. That, okay, you are not pitching it to me because you respect me. You say <laughs> so I can't respect you because you have respect for me. You see what I'm saying? You know, I tried to be nice, <laughs> <laughs> Bobby. Not ten minutes ago, I told you I abused myself. Don't I share. Know. Don't have respect for me. <laughs> I headbutt Ubers. <laughs> you can respect me. <laughs> but you have to understand why why are you you guys why are, are people listening to you guys mm -hmm. right I mean you guys you guys know you have a fan base right mm -hmm. yes yep I mean, when you walk around New York do people go can I get a photo with you yep yeah pretty there's cool. a reason why you can't negate those things right there is a service that you do and you have a voice and you symbolize something right and people look up to it yeah. and people want like you guys so it's like you know, don't shit on your fans, man. Don't shit on God your fans, damn. man. Bobby Lee, I need you in my life, man. I need you in my life to gas me up and just to be awesome. Yeah. So just look in the mirror, you fuckface, and go, <laughs> there's a reason why, right? And that reason is a positive thing, right? So I'm just being real with you guys by saying that I don't know you guys that well, but I know that if, if I go to New York again because I shoot – Sometimes I'm on that Sex in the City yeah, show, right? Yeah, come here. We'd love to have you in person. Yeah, and I'd love to come in and like have a meal or a coffee or whatever, right? And it's like that's what I'm saying, really. Yeah, that's the name of the game, man. Yeah. No, I mean that's that's the highest uh, compliment you can pay people when you get on a podcast with them, and it's like not awkward and not bizarre. It's like, oh yeah, no, this just yeah. works. And feeling that way about Inside Job has got to be like a dream come true, where you're like, all right, I I'm gonna actually enjoy, and also a dream come true because doing voiceover work is the fucking best, right? That's just cake in your pocket. Yeah. Like, I mean, I've done I've done a lot of them, but it's yeah. like you know. This the one, one time where I was kind of like, I'm going to promote it, actually. <laughs> like, I, I've been on shows where, like, where I've done, like, um, voiceovers where, like, they're like, can you promote it? It's contractually, uh, you're obligated. Yeah. Do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm no. not doing, I hate it, right? Yeah. But with this specific job, I'm going to fucking plug the fuck out of it because I just, I just really, I mean, even doing Zoom, like, I'm not good at Zoom. It's the worst. Like, if I went into your studio, Bro, right? If I was physically there, we would kill it. Oh my god! We, are, you, we probably would have taken our dicks out earlier. It would have been a whole <laughs> yeah, scene. We would have a dick competition. You, you, def, definitely, you guys. I'd make you guys smell the head of my. Penis. <laughs> <laughs> you would have done it. I would have. I would have. I, 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 I definitely would have. No, we've both done it. We've both done it. I, if you asked, definitely. I definitely would have done it. I, and, and the thing is, too, right now, I didn't even have to say that out loud because right now what I'm basically doing is giving a verbal confirmation that when you do come in here, I, I will smell, smell you it. Death. And I could have just left it alone and we'd have forgotten we ever did this. But now it's yeah. on camera and we got producers who are going to clip this and it's out there now. <laughs> what, 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 why don't we do this? Why don't we do this? Well, let's come up with a word, all right? So I don't have to go, hey, you guys want to smell, smell the tip of my <laughs> right? I, I want to be able to come in like a year. I don't know when we're going to see each other. Mm -hmm. But let's come up with a really good word, right, that once I say it, you guys will know what I'm talking about. And we won't even explain it. And we, we, we won't get, like, sexual with it, right? I'll just – I'll have boxers on. I'll stick the tip outside the little people, right? And then you guys go, like, three or four inches away from it. You can close your eyes. And you do a couple of snippy snips. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little snippy snip. How about so we just call it that? Just, you just say, you walk in, you say sniffy sniff. <laughs> no. Oh, that's good. Okay. 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 Hashtag snippy, snippy sniff. sniff. That means that there's <laughs> time. How about sniffy sniff time? I, I, oh, I, oh, no, you said something about pickles, right? You come in and you yeah. say dill pickles, and that means I got to sniff your dick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hope they yeah. smell like dill pickles. That would be a lot better than what I'm picturing right now. No, no. it doesn't. It does not. It smells like it smells like Vietnam in the '60s. <laughs> so, napalm. so I was gonna say a little heroin and napalm. 
<laughs> feel that. We will we'll have to end on that note. My dick smells like Vietnam in the 60s. Holy shit. Bobby, it's so, been a um, fucking pleasure, dude. Thank you guys so much. So uh, uh, October 22nd, um, I, I honestly, like, I want to be able to see you guys when I'm back in New York. And uh, thank you guys so much for having me on. Anytime dude, thank you're you back, so man. Much, we'd Bobby, love to have you. Pleasure, man. bro. Have a good one, dude. Bye. See you later. Bye, guys. Bye. What a madman. I love him. He is the master. <laughs> If you're watching on YouTube, click here to subscribe so that you get all the new episodes as they come out. And John, what should they click if they want notifications? Make sure you click thumbs up for the like. Hit that bell icon.